Improvements, Changes and the Virtual Future in Forge of Empires. New with update 1.130 is the self-aid mode. Before it was annoying to look for the self-aid kit in the inventory, click on it and then motivate a single building. With lazy neighbors, especially on the beta server, this often happens to me. Many buildings remain unmotivated. What a waste to collect from a Tholos level 10 when it isn't motivated. Especially players with many shrines and tribal squares require a lot of motivations. Then you must help yourself, sometimes for many buildings. This now is much easier with the new self-aid mode. Very nice. I wished this would also work when upgrading a Tholos 10 times. The redesign of the Hoover tank is disliked by many players of the future era and the Arctic future. The Hoover tank simply was Imbe. This was far from being balanced well. In the future era this wasn't visible that much, as the opponent's Hoover tanks had the same strength. Two waves of eight Hoover tanks each were absolutely impossible to defeat for most players. This changed now. The previous reactive armor has been replaced by the property Force Field 2. It reduces the damage received by two points, leaving at least one point of damage. With enough attack strength this could be eliminated, which was impossible with the reactive armor. That led to the result that the Hoover tank still was a very strong unit in the following ages. With this change, the Hoover tank will remain to be the most popular unit of players in the future era. In the later ages, it will be less effective, as it has not enough defense strength against the high attack values of newer units. InnoGames seems to know that many players will dislike this change. Especially in the German forum announcement, they said that they hope that players will nevertheless enjoy the virtual future. This leads us to the virtual future. The day after tomorrow, on Wednesday, July 18th, the first part of the virtual future will be published on all servers. A short introduction to the virtual future I already provided with a video published a few weeks ago. In the meantime, there is more information published about the Terracotti army. It is a building that every fighter must have, as you never have enough bonus on attack and defense. A tiny hint that was forgotten by many players advancing to the virtual future. If you want to have a heavy unit immediately, just use a renovation kit on a champion's retreat. Especially after removing all other military buildings, the Alcatraz will produce many champions, which you then can use to have a very successful guild expedition. I don't have more hints for the virtual future today, as I'm still in the oceanic future and far from being able to advance. Therefore, I would be very happy if players could share their experience with others in this channel. I'm looking forward to receive images, photos and text, preferable as email, to the address shown above.